where do you draw the line between being selfish and having self-care? Well, that's a good question. So I think that, I mean, if you were to look, for example, at my calendar, and I think you know this, but I'm a pretty, <clears throat> I, I schedule everything. I'm very avid with my calendar. Me too. Uh, but if Block you were scheduling. To, <laughs> yeah. I think if you were to add up the amount of time I spend each week doing things that could be perceived as selfish, whether that's working out or I, I love to read or um, whatever I'm doing, uh, it might seem like a lot of time that I could be doing something else or something for somebody else. But kind of back to the air mask thing, it, if I don't do those things, I'm not going to be my best self and I'm not going to be the version of me that I'm trying to become. And so um, while it may seem selfish to take a lunch or to take a break or to engage in your favorite hobbies or take your spouse out on a date, it doesn't matter what the thing is. If I think what happens is um, our own minds become a little confused about all of the long list of things we have to do and then the ways to make our life enriching and exciting. And, and I think that you've got to do both. You cannot be, you know, a dental life coach, we design everything around being healthy, happy, and successful. You can't have just one of those buckets. They all work in tandem.